right, so now I have two holsters. I have uh, a Ruger SP-101 in 357 Magnum with a 2-inch barrel, and it is in a brown Bianchi holster. And yes, I said brown. If you know the channel, you know me. Uh, good guys wear black, and that's why most of my holsters are all black, but I have some uh, <laughs> just just because I think the brown is going to end up showing uh, how how this turns out a little bit better. Now, this holster was actually brand new. Um, and obviously, it's brown, so I don't wear brown. So I had to kind of mess it up. I'm tr Hopefully, it shows up. You know, I've kind of tried to wear it on the edges. And this was uh, another brown holster uh, The inside the waistband. I believe that's a Bianchi as well. And the uh, clip had sprung, and so I had just removed it, and it's just been laying around. So I tried to beat it up. And we'll use some products, some conditioner, and some of the leather bomb, and see if it'll uh, help out. So let me take this revolver out, safe direction, and verify that it is clear. And it is. All right, we'll set that aside too. All right, with these holsters, like I said, the first thing you want to do is just take a rag and wipe them down just to kind of verify that, you know, it's not just dust on there or whatever, right? So you wipe them down, wipe out the inside, clean them up pretty good. All right, so we got that. I'm gonna wipe that off off camera, just in case there's funk on there. Now, uh, I have a premium uh, holster care kit, which came from Craft Holsters. Now, all these, all the holsters, except for the two Bianchis, um, are I've done reviews on and you can check out the playlist and it also has that care kit in there but in this care kit uh, there's a leather conditioner right. and basically the leather conditioner um, we're gonna start with this one and I'm gonna put basically separate this into two um, the the one side which is gonna be the top side I'm gonna use the uh, conditioner and then I'll use the cream based uh, like a uh, balm leather balm on there so with the conditioner I just use actually I usually use just my finger but um, you can use a rag if you want um, hopefully it won't mess this up too bad so I'm just gonna take this and shake it up make sure that it's mixed right and it kind of comes out like a, that's not bad on the right hand, I'm right handed, right? So we'll just put a little bit on your hand. Hopefully I can keep it to the one side, right? On this, um, if you use a rag, um, I like to do it in kind of circular, unless you can feel the grain and you know where the grain's at, then you can just you know, wipe it. I should do it in a rag. All right, we're going to do it on a rag. How about that? All right, so I got a nice clean rag. All right, I got some on there. And you want to kind of put it on liberally, which means uh, thick, right? So I just kind of wipe it on there. And it will kind of darken it up. And that's why I didn't use the black, just so that you would be able to see it. And hopefully it's kind of cleaned up some of those things right? and just wipe it on and that kind of thing where it'll pull up whatever the finish is this was actually kind of rough right and actually I'll grab another holster here all right this is the 1791 and it's the black but with that conditioner you, know, you probably see that it really lifts all right, and that's just basically wiping it on. All right, there's not much to it, um, but it's kind of like a, it's thinner than a lotion, all right? So it's not like putting hand lotion on something, but um, so anyways, and obviously you want to cover everything on the outside. Now the condition conditioner will uh, uh, put back, you know, that sealing coat. Because that's one of the, the things about having nicks and scratches, right? Like this, I don't know if there's any nicks on there. Um, the, the nicks allow water and moisture to get in there. 
Um, once that breaches inside that out, outer protection, um, then obviously when it starts to evaporate, that's when you get your, um, where it pulls out a little bit of the, the oils in there. And over time, you'll start getting wrinkling, and that's where you'll get like small cracks, allowing more water to get in there and uh, end up splitting and damaging. And sometimes you can notice that on like work boots and stuff where there's a flex all the time. If you don't take care of your boots, um, that flex will end up, you know, causing some uh, cracks and that kind of thing. And then obviously you're going to damage your stuff. And if you spend all this money on things, you want to make sure that obviously you take care of them. So, all right, next we're going to flip this up, right? And the lovely things. Um, that care kit also comes with, you know, like a wool pad applicator, right? And you can use those or, you know, a cloth. Um, I, <laughs> I like using my fingers, so um, set that over here. Now I'll flip this around. Uh, the balm will actually kind of uh, fix some of the things. I mean, it's not going to take out big nicks and stuff, but the... The discoloration, hopefully I'm on the screen here, um, will come out, right? And this you can rub it in little circle patterns to kind of get it into the leather, right? And you just keep putting it, put it on, and then you'll let it set for maybe two minutes or so until it dries, and then you'll come back and wipe it off. So hopefully. I can't remember where I put all the scratch and nicks, but you know, all those high abrasion, uh, the corners and the edges that rub on everything, uh, you want to just make sure that you put a nice coat on there. And that's going to seal up those small nicks and put a little bit of moisture, or not moisture, but oil back into the leather. And that's what you want. So, all right. Kind of do that. All right, we're going to let this set for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and make sure we get it all uh, buffed up. All right, once the leather balm dries, you can buff it off with a cloth. Um, that, the care kit comes with a sponge that has a microfiber cloth on it, and you can use that. So we're going to just kind of wipe over this. Now, this leather is actually pretty porous. It's not like... Uh, some of the ones that are really glossy. I don't know how that's actually going to turn out. So you have to let me know. Um, I did half of this. I did the uh, right side or the front side of this holster. So we'll we'll do that too, and then you can kind of see the difference. But I'm just going to give it a nice little buff. All right, and hopefully that is taking care of any of the scuff marks on there. I don't know. You take a closer look. This side I didn't really touch besides everything that was on my fingers, which helps out too, I guess. But so basically, just uh, putting moisture with, with as far as oils back into uh, the leather to make sure that they're pliable and it seals and keeps out that water. Now, some people will use, you know, like I said, spray protectants and stuff. I don't like any of that. I'd rather keep it natural with the oils and stuff. So. Uh, that's it. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, leave them in the uh, comments below. Uh, make it an outstanding day and never fear the dark. Okay, here is a bonus. If you made it this far watching the video, I'm doing a giveaway. Now, don't tell anybody about the giveaway. They have to watch it to find out. So if you have leather items that you do special things to take care of them, which are not holsters, so make sure you remember it's not for holsters, boots, jackets, whatever you have, leave them in the comments below as a tip of how to deal with leather that are not holsters. And within the next three weeks, by the end of September 2020, I will give away uh, one or two Patreon in the Dark logo t-shirts. So do that and don't tell nobody.